Conscious of a constant psychological discomfort The consistent negativity of one who always tries to live backwards And I can see it, it's right there on that mirror-like surface Like you just try to reflect your life and that way it'll always stay perfect But you can't even remember who you are anymore and that can only get worse And recycled shells of culture goes to a past bad idea They don't make a base of any substance to substantiate a movement Create a new way of thinking or change any of the problems around you They simply reinforce ideas like comfort and the need for competition and betterment As if you're not already the most amazing example of you that there is And how do they put up your accomplishments against those of your peers And they say, well, you know, you're not quite doing as well as this guy over here, you know, he's got a big house and a car and he makes 90000 a year. He's the perfect example of happiness, successful and fearless. And when he gets home at night to his wife and his three perfect kids, he doesn't communicate with any of them. He just tells her she's worthless and has a brandy and ice and tries to decide which one to hit first. It's the only way he can feel like a man after he sucks dick all day at work. And as much fun as that all sounds, I think I'd rather just be happy. I think I'd rather decide who I'll be instead of letting them tell me because that's not a life, that's a time bomb of disappointment and misery. And if it doesn't blow now, it carries through the kids, the involuntary recipients of an absolutely ridiculous kid to always strive to beat those around them down to always at the best of fellow man at everything instead of trying to make the world a better place for our successors we all just want to fight non whites and take up all the world's resources and burn them up as quickly as humanly possible with absolutely no consideration of any ramifications for any of the third world nations that we've ravaged raped exploited till our dicks are raw and bleeding and now they're fucked and pregnant with corruptions bastard children with guns disease hunger war poverty and we're concerned with whose responsibility it really is to help them when you don't fucking write that it's just as much on you who signed the order as it is on your murderous drones you've dubbed as peacekeeping soldiers ones you allow to shoot those who don't respect your authority in a country you took by force from people who never needed saving until you sponsored militant factions with gun supplies and greenbacks just so you could offer some security against further attacks at a much higher price than you paid to cause a crisis in the first place now that government will always be in debt to your relief but now that monster you unleashed on them now you can't even stop it now it threatens your homeland and now that just can't happen so you decide to throw a tantrum to show the world what will happen when you give an angry bitter child any inkling of power you know they will always take it too far someone's gonna get hurt someone's gonna start crying someone's gonna get dirt kicked up in their face and told they're nothing but second-class citizens whether it's a war on drugs or a war on terrorism it's really a war on personal freedom dressed up in wolf's clothing inflicted like a pestilence upon the sheep it's supposed to be protecting them but if you can't imagine the horrors that they're conjuring overseas you can surely appreciate the bullshit they're trying to pull here at least there they're honest to the other people that they're trying to suppress here they call the killers cops they say they're trying to protect the population from itself and the self-destructive urge from a natural situation of force coalition of effort towards a more powerful nation you don't necessarily want to be happy as long as you make more money to help the economy get stronger to help the hive make honey, to help the rest of your fellow ants to build the colony bigger. That's why they keep a constant finger on that nuclear trigger to remind us how unimportant that the individual is. Just as long as our civilization keeps us all fenced in and undesirables out, free thought, creativity, and enlightenment, enemies of a system based upon voluntary enslavement. But there isn't a single day when I don't wake up and feel incredibly grateful that I was born in a democratic country so close to the border of the most powerful nation on the face of the goddamn planet. The big angry American bullies, the ones you always want to stay friends with, but it comes at the cost of watching them hold the little guy down of helping them bomb grammar schools at the edge of small Arab towns and of helping them build munitions to sell the struggling new nations and letting them tell us how we're going to react to the international situation and backing them up in any event of a military persuasion whether it's an all-out war on some superpower nation or the biased policing of countries half the size of Nova Scotia you protect them from bullets by holding the guns to the heads of their soldiers this isn't about who's right or wrong I think you're all fucking guilty I think we all need to be tried for crimes against humanity but not so much as a noun as a concept like time or love or charity now the common misconception is that it costs blood to be free, but I think we could do all right if we could just strive towards brotherhood, do away with petty squabbling, allow all points to be understood, and if we could try to live upon the earth a little more ecologically minded, try to build our homes a little smaller, try to put gas and coal and oil behind us, and try to have a little less impact on the world around you, unless it's in a social manner, try to change minds and open them up to things they will never allow themselves to realize in the first place, teach them to think, instead of allowing atrocities with a helpless complacence, that maybe now's the time to use our growing international powers for good, maybe now's the time to speak up for the control of those who would be hanged as fucking traitors if they spoke out against conditions that our own allies have forced their people to come to live in and don't ever allow yourself any apathetic complacency. It's as dangerous and irresponsible as you can imagine it would be to fire a gun into a crowd. Don't be a fucking victim. Speak out against injustice. Keep your conscious voices loud.